for me, living with EDS has been incredibly hard. It's felt like a constant battle between where I am and where I want to be. And I cry and I rant and it's it does take a toll on your mental health as well. And I do suffer from quite severe anxiety. I can't go out on my own because of it. I struggled quite a lot a few years ago um, with anorexia and that basically was a result of me sort of at war with myself regarding my Ellis Dant loss and that sort of was a nightmare. <laughs> my goals and aspirations for the future have changed so much. I feel like they change from month to month and that is because of the unpredictability of my EDS and of my condition. Um, I think now that I'm actually at university studying English, that is something that I'd like to pursue a career in, whether it be journalism or sort of working for a magazine or something like that, that I can sort of do sat down. I was out at a restaurant and I yawned and basically dislocated my jaw um, and it was absolute agony. And for anyone that's ever had a dislocation, they sort of can understand how painful it is to dislocate. And people with EDS, they, they dislocate all the time. My knees dislocate, I've dislocated my thumb, and the pain of like a joint actually coming out is, is horrendous. And I have to use knee braces to keep everything in place when I'm walking. Um, and I have to be careful when I'm yawning.